So I have one question to pose to all of you before we get into this video. Is it possible for Madden 18 to break into the esports market? Alright, what is up you guys, welcome back to TGTV. So, that is the topic at hand for today. Can Madden 18 break into the esports market? Um, I think the biggest thing that I've been taking from all this news recently, I'm sorry it took me so long to make a video on this, but they have been making a lot, a lot of little improvements into this game that you might not completely notice. Um, you take them at face value, but I don't think people completely notice what they could be doing for it. So, the first thing I'm gonna point out, which is awesome, the story mode, um, my career. They've really had just a very stale, um, career mode in the past few years. It's just create a player, they play the games, you kind of get upgrade points and it gets better. And I mean, post in the comments, tell me if you play the Madden, uh, career mode. I have not for years, like years now. I just think it got so dry and I really had very little interest in playing it. But that being said, this new story mode instantly gets me excited. And this is the reason why I think it should get everybody excited. If you look at what 2K has done in the past few years, it has been so much more systematic and uh, methodical than people give it credit for. Each little thing they do with their career mode, each little thing they do with pro-am mode, with park mode, has all led up to this esports thing. They come in with a story mode in engaging my career mode. They take that, they evolve it. Well, in the same year, I guess, they evolve it into being the park. They bring back the online gameplay. The next year, we still have the park, but then we bring in the Jordan Rec Center. Now we go from getting these 2v2s, 3v3s, moving on to full 5v5s. Not fully polished yet as much as people want to respect the Jordan Rec Center. So, next step, they take that and they move it into the Pro-Am. Here we go, we have teams of 5v5 players. It's not completely there though, you've got it in the arenas, you've got the refs, you got timed gameplay, cool, 5v5. The next year they take that from being a one team captain, they turn that into a 10 man roster. You're on a roster, this is your team. I'm guessing at this point, you're seeing where I'm going with this. They're taking these steps little by little to assimilate people into the culture of creating a game where you are all playing as yourselves. It's becoming like it is a pro-am professional amateur league so if you look at what madden's on this year i think they might be trying to take this step and they're either we don't have all the details yet again my biggest thing with the speculation is taking things at face value and don't assume things just think what are the possible outcomes anyway possible outcome here is we either see that madden takes the story mode and they jump right into gear they have a precedent they've seen 2k do it they could jump right into gear here. Low-key, I think this would not be a year for them to jump in, obviously, they already would have been announced. But this is a great jumping off point for them. Because if you look at what they're doing, they have the story mode, they have this online team play, I'll have those screenshots up just to confirm that kind of stuff. Um, but in the past few years, you know, you had your quarterback, wide receiver, running back was the normal thing, and then um, usually like a, a cornerback, a safety, defensive lineman, I want to say we would usually run on ours, um, or maybe a linebacker, actually, sorry, yeah, safety, cornerback, linebacker. So, the thing with 2K and Madden that's interesting is, with 2K, you go, okay, we got our 5v5, we're good. Madden is the question of how many guys are going to be controlled. Um, you know, I definitely think that this year, they can't jump straight into things. I think they're doing a good job with that because it does look like it's going to be a 3v3 or 4v4. Assimilate people into playing this. I think their biggest, biggest, biggest thing right now is if, if they don't do it this year, they have to take another year to get the actual people's players in because if they want to break into this esports culture, they're not going to do it with a guy controlling Tom Brady. They're going to do it with a guy controlling Mitch Anderson. And um, that's what's going to get people engaged into this. I definitely think, uh, you guys leave your thoughts in the comments on this. I think a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing this year, though, is stuff that's pushing towards being that more competitive online stuff. And uh, they also, this is not completely related, but they do have the Frostbite engine in here. And you can't have a great online competitive game without having a great engine working with it, making sure everything's smooth, making sure everything works well. 
So guys, leave your thoughts down below. I thought this was a very interesting video to make. Um, I really, really, really hope this is the direction they're going in. Uh, I know as much as you guys. I'm sure there's people at EA that know more than I do. I'm sure there's people, YouTubers, who probably might get an idea of this in the near future. I don't know if any of them do yet. But um, if any of you guys have any questions, please make sure you hit me up on Twitter. I respond to almost all DMs as long as I see them. Sometimes I forget. But if I forget, send me another DM. Um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Like, make sure to follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys next video on Tuesday. Okay, guys, peace. I'm out.